I was walking past a couple businesses close to my van to go to the porta potties, and uh, I guess somebody ordered food for DoorDash and they never picked it up. And the lady asked me if I wanted it because it was going to go to waste. I said, sure. The place is called Pueblo Viejo. It's a Mexican food place in Austin, in South Austin. If you're ever in Austin, go check it out. This just smells really good. Making that cookie fudge sludge tasted pretty good. I couldn't eat all of it. It definitely messed with my stomach, but cooking this fucking thing was a terrible idea. It is taking a little bit of extra elbow grease to get this puppy clean again. I uploaded uh, like a bunch of screenshots for like notes of uh, some of the stuff I learned last week from the training uh, for my financial insurance um, company and training that I started last week. And instead of using a laptop and my phone, I'm going to use two phones. I uploaded like screenshot notes to Google Drive. I use Google Drive, um, have google drive up on one of my phone screens with the mount and then instead of like typing into a software and, and or using uh or typing into like a word program on a computer decent on a keyboard with typing uh but to save energy because i need to save conserve energy that i get from the solar panel uh, i'm gonna use two phones instead of a phone and a laptop or two laptops um and and I'm going to take my screenshots on one phone screen from Google Drive and use that to type up notes on my phone and then copy and paste the text, text into an email and then probably eventually transfer and save those notes into uh, like a notepad or a Word document on my laptop and then eventually, you know, on a flash drive and have them in email too so they're backed up. And just start making notes that way. Uh, but that's how I think it's a really efficient way to do it and save energy at the same time. So I'll see how it goes. And still on my Google Drive, I saw last night, I have a bunch of videos from the skateboarders I sponsored from my first uh, company that I started, my dropshipping company. is a skateboard apparel um, and sponsorship company where I like one of the unique things I started was I had contests where other people could um, submit their artwork and the plan was to pick the best artwork and I did I picked 
you know, the few contests I held on a weekly basis, I uh, picked the best artwork and then I made merch out of it or had merch on my website. The merch, most of it never got made because people didn't acknowledge or notice, you know, I, it wasn't around for enough time for people to take notice of what I was doing, but uh, I still have the videos and eventually I want to make a, a collaborative video of all the skateboarders I sponsored and upload it to my YouTube channel. If my laptop was a person, you know what it would say? You know what its dialogue would be? I can't stay connected to the internet. I'm a bitch. I'm a pussy. I could just trip and fall on this hole soon, but I'm not gonna do it. hell of a hole, walking like a mile, mile, like 1.3 miles of 
30 pounds in each arm. Show me what a van life vlogger does that and show me how many views most of them get and tell me society's not fucked. got something in my ear it's just like bothering the crap out of me i don't know what it is it's like earwax but i got a first aid kit under my seat and i got another one a smaller one in one of my bags and look at that we got q-tips look at that i'm gonna save it for lunch tomorrow Well, at least my food's staying cold. Um, I put on two sweatshirts because I was cold. But it's not gonna it's not gonna be very warm today all day. It's like the warmest part of the day right now. Feel good now. Now I got two sweatshirts on. One's got uh, some extra insulation. I think the high today is like 37.